Hello, my name is Michael de Miranda and this video is about Salmon Tuno. Salmon Tuno is actually a, a sub-genre of uh, Song Cubano. I think it's the most flexible form of all kinds uh, of uh, Latin American music and it's also the foundation for many Cuban-based dance forms. Um, and salsa, of course. Uh, Somontuno means uh, sun from the mountains. And let's start with the clave. Um, there's a 3-2 and a 2-3 clave. The piece that you've just heard is 2-3. So that means the first bar, there are only two strokes on the 2 and the 3. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Like this. The second bar, there's a stroke on the one, or the second stroke is on the two and, and the last stroke is on the four. So you have one, two, three, four, one. Yes, that's the clave that I'm uh, the, the patterns that I play are in a 2-3 clave. This is the clave, yeah? Okay, let's go to the bongo. The bongo uh, plays a basic rhythm called martillo. I've already made some uh, lessons and tutorials about bongo and I will put... Uh, in the description I will put a link so you can find more, uh, more information and about the bongos in another video. But the basic pattern starts like this. You start with the thumb on the skin and you press a little bit. Then the first uh, finger with your right hand should sound a little bit louder and high, like this. Yeah. After this first stroke, the fingers are coming. Uh, miss. <laughs> then another stroke with your fingers and then the thumb is coming again. So you have one, two, three, four and... After this thumb, again your finger is coming and plays a loud note. So you have... Yeah. Then again the fingers are coming and then when your right hand is playing again the finger, it's not on the small one, the macho, but on the hembra. So you have... Like this. After this note there's a fingertip with your left hand coming and that's the pattern of the martillo. Like this. Okay, that's the pattern for the, uh, for the bongo, but actually the bongo, this is a basic, varia uh, basic rhythm, but the bongo zero has to make variations, has to play with the melody from the singer or what is happening in the other instruments, he's playing with this, yes? That's the bongo. Let's go to the maraca. Maracas are very nice and for me, a little bit difficult. Uh, I've already done a tutorial about maracas. You, I will put a link in this description too, so you can hear more about the maraca. Let's start with this rhythm. The first, uh, is, the first stroke is with your right hand on the one, like this. Then the second, uh, first you throw the seeds inside, you throw, throw it up and first you hit the upper side of the maraca and then the seeds fall back to the lower uh, side of the maraca. So you have... Yeah? And then the right one is coming after this. And then it continues like this. So you have... If I play the pattern, it's like this. One, two, three, four and...
Yeah, the, uh, the important thing is the, be the beginning. And that's difficult, you have to practice this. That's the pattern that I use. There are also other patterns you can use for this uh, somontuno. Okay, let's go to the guiro. The guiro. Um, the first stroke on the guiro is from is a down stroke. You play it like this. Then you get the stick up, but you don't touch the guiro. And the second uh, is also downwards. So you have. And then the next one is up. So you have. And that's all. Then the first one is coming back and you have it like this. Yes, I will count with it. One, two, three, four and. One of the reasons that they uh, play it like this is that your right hand is constantly uh, continuing uh, in his movement. The, the movement is constant, like this chuck, chuck, cut, chuck, chuck, cut, chuck, and not like. Which also would be possible, but most of the time they play it like this. And so on. Yes? Okay, let's go to the congas. The congas uh, are playing a basic pattern and it starts like this. You start with your left hand, with the heel, then the fingers left hand, and then a slap with your right hand. So you have one, two, three, four, and... After this slap, your left hand plays first a tip, then a heel and again the tip. So you have... Yes. After this, two open tones with your right hand. So you have... Again. One, two, three, four and... And then it starts all over again. So if I repeat this, it sounds like this. Okay. Uh, in the second part, where there is uh, where the bongo zero is going to the bells, and the timbalero too. Uh, the conga, uh, conga zero is playing also on the salidor. And then the first bar remains the same. The second bar, you start again with your heel, tip and slap. But after this slap, your right hand is playing two open tones on the low tumba. So you have... Yes. After the two open tones on the tumba, you play a fingertip with your left hand and you play two open tones on the conga. And then you repeat it. One, two, three, four and... And so on. I will also put a link in the description from, uh, from a video that I already made about this rhythm and perhaps some variations, I don't know any, anymore, but I will put a link where I explain it a little bit more slowly. Uh, and this pattern is 2-3, so you have... Dum, dum, pa, kum, ka, dum, dum, pa, ka, ta, dum, 
tum tin tin tu ku pa ke ki tin tin ke ta pum pum tin tin two three is this yes okay let's go to the timbales on the timbales most of the time the first part uh, you play on the side of the timbales cascara and the pattern you play with your right hand is like this the first bar is like this one two three four so you have two single strokes and then two times two strokes Two, three, four. After this, this there are two strokes coming like this. Again. Then there's a single stroke coming. One, two, three, four. And after this single stroke, uh, and those two strokes, the first one is still uh, is actually the end of the pattern, because the second stroke in the end is the same as where I started. Yes, so you have. And one. Okay, the left hand is playing a fingertip on the hembra and on the four an uh, open tone. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three. Four. Yes, if I combine it, it sounds like this one, two, Three, four. That's the pattern for the timbales. When the montuno is coming, the timbales is going to the salsa bell. And the salsa bell that I just played is like this. The first bar starts like this. One, two, three, four. F first two single strokes and then four strokes. Okay, after this it continues like this. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. And after this, three strokes, and the last of this stroke is again the same as the first stroke. So the complete pattern is like this. One, two, three, four. And the last one is the same. So if I repeat it, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Yes, the left hand is playing the same on the two end. You play a fingertip and on the four an open tone. Yes? Okay, uh, only thing I have to show you is how to play the bongo bell. When I was playing the bongo, of explaining the bongo, I forgot to explain that when the montuno starts, most of the time the bongo zero is going to the bongo bell. It's not always directly when the montuno starts, but Sometimes uh, when, in, uh, when the singer starts his pregones, then you go to the bongo bell. And the bongo bell is playing the next pattern in a 2-3 clave. You start at the open side, then a stroke at the high side, and again on the open side. One, two, three, four. Yes. 
then two strokes on this part and again one on the open side. One, two, three, four. After this, the same is coming, two strokes here and again one on the open side. One, two, three, four. Again, two strokes on, the, on this part and then the first stroke is coming. So you have one, two, three, four. If I clap the clav, clav, you can hear how it fits in the clav. One, two, three, four. Tung, ting, tung, tiki, tung, tiki, tung, tiki, tung, ting, tung, tiki, tung, tiki, tung, tiki, tung, ting, tung. You can hear how the part of the two, uh, the two part of the clav is fitting together with the bongo. Okay, now let's put all these patterns together and. Of course, I play it a little bit faster and uh, you can see how it, uh, how it sounds with piano and bass. enjoyed this uh, tutorial about Somontuno and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!